Tracy McGrady and the Rockets look to close out the Jazz in Salt Lake City. But Carlos Boozer and the Jazz had some other ideas looking to force a pivotal Game 7. In the second, Paul Millsap blocks Juwan Howard. Jazz on the run. Darren Williams finds Boozer for the layup plus the foul. That tied the game up at 33. But the Rockets do not go quietly. T-Mac drives into the lane. There he'll hit the runner, and Houston has a two-point lead. But at the half, the Jazz led 46-43. O'Kerr heats up in the third. Darren Williams to O'Kerr. He hits from outside. Then O'Kerr will bury another three. Utah leads 58-50. to More O'Kerr. Spots up. Bang. Takes his time. The crowd loves it. After three, the Jazz lead 68-62. Darren Williams in the fourth. Finds the cutting Andre Kirilenko for the lay-in. The lead 79-76. T-Mac keeps Houston in it. Gets it to Yao. Who slams it down? Utah still up by three. And then Williams finds O'Kerr, who drills an open three. And the Jazz celebrate the victory 94-82. to The Jazz shoot 48.6% from the field, including 7 of 15 from beyond the arc. The Rockets convert only 43% of their shots from the floor. Game 7 of this Western Conference battle can be seen Saturday night on TNT from the Toyota Center in Houston. Tonight, there's only one game on the docket. At 8 p.m. Eastern time, the Nets host the Raptors in Game 6 on ESPN, looking to close out Toronto on the home court.